Hey, what's up guys? It's Alan from Monza Studios coming to you with a really quick video. Now, in this video, I'm just going to show you guys how to get up and running really quickly with your new Blackmagic A10 Television Studio Pro 4K. Okay, first thing you're going to need to do is to go to your Blackmagic site and download the latest version of the software for your television studio. Usually, the software on the SD card needs some upgrading, so you're better off just going to Blackmagic site and just download the software from the get. Once you download the software, follow the instructions on how to install the software. Um, once you install the software, you can it'll put a folder in your application folder. As you can see, I'm on a Macintosh. So you go to the application folder, and after you install the software, you should have placed a Blackmagic ATEM switcher folder in your applications folder. Now, in that folder, you'll see a bunch of other folders and files. We're only going to be dealing with these two here, your ATEM setup and your ATEM software control. So once you've installed that, go ahead, um, connect and your network cable and your USB cable to your ATEM switcher. Okay, once you've done that, uh, if you double click your ATEM setup, you should, you should see a picture of the ATEM switcher like this. Now, in order to configure your switcher, just click on this left icon and it'll show you the IP address of the switcher. Okay, and this you're going to need this information to input in your network preferences on your Macintosh. Okay, so in order to get to your network preferences, go ahead and click on your Apple menu, set uh, system preferences, and then click on your network icon here. Okay, so once you have the, the uh, network cable plugged into your, your computer and from your computer to your switcher, you should see Ethernet 1 or Ethernet something here. Just click on the Ethernet that is plugged into and yours might be off or it might have a uh, IP address in it already. In either case, just go ahead and click and we're going to click manually because we're going to input everything manually. All right, so notice the, um, the IP address over here. So over here, we're going to input the IP address. We're going to put 192.168.10.241. This says 240. So why are we putting 241? Because on a network, no two devices can have the same IP address that will cause an IP conflict. Okay. So we just, so you can, so you don't have to put one. You could have actually, for the last three digits, you could just change it. Just make sure it's not the same as the last three digits over here. All right. So for the subnet mask, you're going to put the same subnet mask. 255.255.255.0. And for the router here, you're going to put the gateway information. 192.168.10.1. So everything is the same except for the IP address. So then that's just the last three digits of the IP address, okay? And just click apply, and you should see this light up green. So now we should be able to see the uh, ATEM software control. Okay, so let's double click here, and voila, we got our interface here, okay? So I can do a quick little run run through with you guys. Um, switcher here, there these tabs, there are three, um, four tabs down here, media. You can put input some stills and some clips here, and uh, audio. You can, you can mix your audio here, adjust your audio. And for camera, this is if you have Blackmagic cameras, you can actually control the look of these. Okay, so let's go back to the switcher. There's also a gear icon here. You have your audio here, multi view. Um, I'll show you that. Labels, you can label all of this. I have on my Cam 1, I actually have my Mac Pro connected there. Okay, so you just click save here. I haven't done anything, but we can click save there and then we're back to the control. Now, some accessories that you're going to need are a couple of these converters. If you have laptops that will be broadcast in PowerPoint presentations, you're going to need some converters to convert your HDMI signal to SDI. And if you're like me, I only have cameras with HDMI. Switch to my Mac, it's showing the ProPresenter background. Okay, and if I go to um, cam 2 that's actually my gh5 camera and that's basically it in order to cut to to different different devices you can either go cut and that just give you an abrupt cut you can go auto and auto gives you a nice fade okay and 
over here we have a whole bunch of things that we're not even going to get into right now okay that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching if you found any of this content useful go ahead and drop me a like subscribe to the channel for more content like this all right take care be safe